Well, it's Thanksgiving, and that means it's the perfect time to count down the top five political turkeys of 2011. It's been quite a year filled with controversy and scandal. Here to help us break it down is the editor-in-chief of Breitbart TV and a contributor to Big Hollywood, Larry O'Connor. Nice to see you. Oh, you're already starting early. What time is it there? Two in the morning? <laughs> Yeah, this is my breakfast turkey. Come on, I take Thanksgiving very seriously. Since I'm over, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Uh, Larry, nice to see you this morning. Let's start with number five on your political turkeys list. Occupy Wall Street and Michael Moore? Yes, they go together. <laughs> Occupy Wall Street, great job, guys. Oh, I like the turkey. Uh, Occupy Wall Street, only these precious little dirt bags can make the New York bankers, Wall Street bankers, look sympathetic. I'm actually on the banker's side at this point because of their lawlessness and their, their, their vandalism and the smell. They, they've raised $500,000. They haven't spent it on cans of Lysol, that's for sure. <laughs> and, and Michael Moore is connected to them. It's the turkey day, so he's the butterball, right? I, I know. I'm sorry. Get it was too easy. Get the Febreze out there. <laughs> uh, who is number this four on your list? Uh, number four, oh, for crying out loud. Number four was, uh, oh, Nancy Pelosi. No, Nancy no. Pelosi. No. Help me out. Uh, yeah, it me. Warren, sorry, it's Warren Buffett's secretary. <laughs> oh, well, thank you. I knew it was a woman. Warren Buffett's secretary, she has become the most sympathetic woman in the world, and all because Warren Buffett himself is a cheapskate. That just because he can't figure out a way to pay her without putting her into this higher tax bracket, he's changing our entire tax system. Just so he and Obama can make a political point. Here's the advice, uh, Warren Buffett, just pay your secretary with stock options, and then she can pay the uh, capital gains tax rate, which is lower. So she gets into a different a different tax bracket. That's a good solution exactly. for Exactly. Why it. can't he figure that out? So I don't understand. He just doesn't have to keep talking about her on a regular basis. All right, number three on <laughs> your list. Of course, this is, uh, this is timely in the headlines this week. The Super Committee. Yeah, the Super Committee. First of all, doomed from the start. Patty Murray, Senator Patty Murray was on this committee. Now, she's a wonderful woman, but she's not the president of the Senate's Mensa Club, if you know what I mean. <laughs> this was not going to be any kind of success. And who named it the Super Committee, by the way? Whoever named this the Super Committee has a very low bar for super. They called Zima a super beverage. They called <laughs> the Chevy Volt a super car. Should I go on? No, I'm going to have some Zima a little bit later this afternoon. It's my kind of drink. Wash it down with some turkey. And uh, uh, mm. Number two on your list, here's one you, you mentioned before, Nancy Pelosi, but her Visa yeah. IPO as well. With Nancy Pelosi, I'm going to switch to a new turkey because she drives you to drink. Uh, <laughs> Nancy Pelosi, only Nancy Pelosi can somehow get invited into this exclusive IPO for Visa cards. And by the way, she was invited by a guy who used to work for her, and now he's a lobbyist for a credit card company. She gets invited into this Visa IPO, makes a ton of money while she sits on legislation to, uh, that would have hurt the credit card companies. And then when 60 Minutes questions her about it, she just looks at Steve Croft and says, do you have a point here? Right. Yeah, we have a point, Nancy. Get out. We're done with it. And finally, number one, drum roll, please. There we go. Your number one political turkey of 2011 is, surprisingly, Anthony Weiner. Oh, how, how could it not be Anthony Weiner? It was the story of the year. He's the congressional member whose member we'll always remember. <laughs> Uh, let's before we get into the little you know nasty bits and pieces of this story can we just remind ourselves that Anthony Weiner and the whole escapade I know it's an easy punchline but he was a really bad guy what he did was borderline predatory and when he got caught he lied he berated people he bullied reporters and ultimately he blamed an innocent man my, my friend Andrew Breitbart he blamed him and accused him of hacking into his account uh, he's a horrible guy and remember all the Democrats that jumped to his defense, right. yeah, there were none. And it's because they know that he's a problem. So I'm glad Anthony Weiner is gone. I hope he never comes back. And he was the turkey of the year. Larry O'Connor, nice to see you this morning. Happy Thanksgiving. Enjoy the turkey Thank and the you wild guys. turkey. Thanks Happy so much. Thanksgiving to you too. Thanks, Larry.